Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome back to the Dark Below. Last episode, we ventured down into the Cosmodrome, and we destroyed the Fist of Crota in an attempt to slow the progress of the Hive's attempted resurrection of Crota himself. And in those efforts, we learn that the Hive are also pursuing Rasputin, who is the last remaining Warmind from humanity's Golden Age. He actually survived the Collapse, unlike all the other Warminds. And a Warmind is basically a giant network of satellites and weapons of mass destruction. And so we kind of want to be able to use Rasputin for our own good. And if the Hive either destroy him or they capture him and use him against us, we are basically more screwed than we have ever been in this entire war. And so we need to stop the Hive from claiming Rasputin for themselves, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, here's the thing. Last episode, I believe I was either level 28 or 29. I want to say 29, and this is a level 25 mission. I put it up to hard mode, and I got wrecked. I got decimated. And so I decided, you know what, instead of putting it down to level 25, instead of swallowing my pride and just doing the easy thing, I was going to level up and I was going to beat this on hard mode. This game will not beat me that easily. And so I actually leveled up to level 30. I went through, I increased this uh, piece of armor completely, got all the light off of it. I increased this one, I think two out of three, and I don't think I've even touched my booties yet. Nah, the booties ain't even upgraded a little bit yet. I still need Ascendant Shards. I need Ascendant Shards for it. The Helium Filaments actually have been the biggest pain in the butt because I had plenty of shards, but not enough uh, Helium Figments. Or Figments? Is it Figments? Helium Figments? Filaments. Filaments. <laughs> figments of my imagination. And I don't know if I showed you that I completely upgraded the Obsidian Mine so it gives its full light and everything else. And I have new toys available to me. I found a new machine gun, which is really nice. I really like this thing. Although in this mission, I think the rocket launcher is going to be better for me in the end because I can destroy large groups of thralls very easily with it. Uh, I'll probably swap to the shotgun because it's a lot of close quarters stuff, even though... No, I want to keep the sniper. I remember this. And I also found the last word, which is a nice hand cannon that I am leveling up for multiplayer. I really, really like this weapon. Anybody that plays the game will be familiar with it because it does have the fan firing, can be fired automatically. And I just want to really be able to level this thing up and use it. Plus, it just looks really awesome. I love that kind of brass and wooden look to it. I mean, looks really, really, really nice. But my nail in the coffin, nail in the coffin is apparently a really good one. I just need to level it up still. I don't have the Ascendant Shards to do it. This weapon I really like, but I'm not going to put many points into this because I'm currently in the quest to get bad juju. So I'm not going to really work too much on another nail in the coffin. Or really, this thing is going to be used primarily for multiplayer once I level it up all the way. So we're going to dive in. We're going to be using the last word first. And if that doesn't work out for me, I'll switch to another nail in the coffin because it is a very consistent weapon. But I want to try it with the last word. And now that I'm level 30, I should at least be able to stand toe to toe with the enemies that I'm going to come across. Unlike last time where I lose 30% of my damage. It's like what? If they're one level above you, you lose 30% of your damage. Then you lose another 30 of the remainder and so on and so forth. And eventually you just don't do any damage whatsoever. So that's what we have available to us. We're going to do the Siege of the Warmind, Old Russia Earth. I'll show you where it is really quick, just in case you don't know. It's right here. Right here. Turn that to level 30. And I'm going to get Ascendant Materials, which is another good reason to do this on this harder mode. Ascendant Materials. I need them. I need them, I need them, I need them. So, let's learn what this story's all about, what, uh... The Crota Lady has to say to us, I cannot remember her name. Eris? Ellis? Rasputin is the last of the war mines. They were the greatest defense systems ever devised. A massive network of satellites and doomsday weapons built to protect humanity. Crota's army gathers near one of the war mines' hidden bunkers. We cannot let the Hive destroy Rasputin, or worse, control him. Yep. We can't let this happen. We need to stop it. We need to stop it. Cannot let Rasputin fall into their hands. It is nice to be back in the Cosmodrome. The mine's bunker beneath the Forgotten Shore. Stop the Hive from reaching Rasputin. How do we know so much about this? That's one thing I need to know. How do we know so much about the secret engines? Hold on, I gotta turn down my headset. Hopefully I don't die to these dregs while doing so. Oh, my sparrow got destroyed. Okay, hold on a second. I had to turn down my headset because the volume was so loud. 
All right, let's get back on uh, get back on our sparrow and get over there before we get killed by level three enemies while we're level thirty with an exotic weapon and an exotic helmet. That would be embarrassing. Rasputin remains silent, but still fights to protect us. We cannot let Crota's army find a way around the war mine's defenses, or Crota's disciples will flood the earth. So Rasputin, if Rasputin is still fighting for us and still doing things, then how have we not, how is he still a legend until this point, unless they're trying to build up our character and destiny to be so much more important? Like, did they not, oh, what am I trying to say here? Like, is our character incredibly important? They just did a really bad job of telling us that. Like, are we the one that has turned the tide of this war and they just, they just haven't let us know that? Basically, have we gone to places and done things that no other Guardian has been capable of doing from a story standpoint? Because that would make a little more sense. If, if from a story perspective to me. Because so much has changed since we became a Guardian. It's like, oh look, this was a legend. This was thought impossible. Oh hey, you did it. Here's 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 loot. So He communicates through music. I do love this design, though. This really nice angular diamond design. I love this. Welcome visitors. Find the control room. How long have you known about all of this stuff with him? Seriously, you couldn't have shared this information with, I don't know, humanity? <sighs> Seriously, what's up with you? And I found a way to miss every shot. They won't reach him. Calm down. And me without my quest to, or bounty to destroy lots of hive. I got the Vex one today. I had to go kill a bunch of high-powered Vex. Don't ask me why I did that. I probably thought I had my shotgun in the back of my head, like, oh, I'll just pull out my shotgun and I'll just one-shot him, but I have a bounty to kill enemies with precision damage. Plus, there's some, like, wizardy kind of characters that I'm going to need the headshot capabilities for when we come across them. I didn't, I wasn't really able to kill them quickly last time, but probably because I was too low of a level to really take them on. All right, now we just got a couple of these little acolytes here. I love this gun, though, just the... Like, that's just so badass. That is just so amazing in every way. I cannot get over that. Take that! You down! And then you! And then... Hmm. Draw. That line did not come out as cool as I thought it would, and now they're punishing me for it. No, don't kill me! <laughs> that line was not as neat as I thought. All right, is there anything over here? I forgot to check last time. Any chests, any loots, not a thing. Oh, there's a dead, oh, oh, I didn't even see you. What's up, buddy? I shot him and I shot you. Heh, <laughs> he dissolved. There we go. And a new optional game settings have been downloaded. Thank you, NVIDIA. Very, very nice. If you don't know, I actually do record my monitor because I have a capture card inside my computer that I plug my Xbox into and then I record on my monitor so that I never have to worry about issues with a capture card. So you're going to see, see my mouse? See, got the mouse and I'm going to click that. I'm going to close that. You get to see all my, all my stuff. The illusion has been broken. I'm not actually recording this from a capture card. Directly, I should say. A capture card is part of the process, but it is not a direct element. It's never good at close range sniping. Hold on, I need to reload. Nope, no, I need to reload. Hold on, there you go. That's better. And this, I'm assuming, I, I died in here, so I don't know if this actually is Rasputin or like a remote hub for him or 
something. So, we'll figure it out together. This fight is the furthest I've gotten. Although I got to the, uh, I think the final part of the fight and died. That's what I'm working on. Checking around for some stuff really I want to see if there's anything around that I need to grab. Hold on. We need to, we need to check. I didn't even touch anything. Hold on. I don't actually have to touch anything over here for this to activate. Okay. I can deal with that. I'm the ghoul. I'm working on it. She ain't gonna do too much though. She just leaves. What a coward. Get all these thralls. It does feel good to have this weapon at my disposal though. I don't know why. I just love this gun. It makes me feel like a real man that can do real things. Huh, that's weird. It spawned over here this time. Now, how quickly can I kill... Where's the... Oh, there it is. <sighs> Hold on. These are the guys I need to kill. And I'm gonna die to them. You avoided the super! You just, like, whooshed under it. That was not cool. I already died because I tried something stupid. This is not gonna work out with the, uh, the last word. Then it just... It's... Stop that! Stop that! I'm trying to change things. I need another nail in the coffin. I need a shotgun. Okay. I just, I need the nail in the coffin. It's just such a much more consistent weapon for these types of scenarios. It's not as powerful, but it is almost just as good. But it has a much larger magazine is really the main reason for me to be using it. So you just do your thing where you disappear. Thank you. And we'll just work on taking out these thralls. And there's some to my side. Oh, stop that. Rasputin's giving us music. Okay, so where's this first cloud gonna spawn? It's gonna spawn over here. The Watcher of Crota's dying so much faster, oh my goodness. You know how long it took me to kill these things last time? I mean, when I was actually hitting them? <laughs> Ignore those missed shots. Oh my goodness, that went so much better than last time. I'm already liking this. So glad I leveled up. So glad I leveled up. Definitely just... Losing damage in any way is just... It just sucks. Although dying also really sucks too, so we'll just let that happen. I mean, not dying, but we'll let them go for for now. Got my super back because my supers charge my supers. Do not form your one thing. Your I forget what they're called. Gosh darn it. They form those little things on the ground that damage you. Those things, yeah. Vestige. Don't make too many of those. That's why I need to kill these guys really quickly. And my fully automatic secret handshake. Another weapon that people are surprisingly jealous of. I didn't think people would be jealous of that weapon because I didn't realize that weapons could have different stats. That was the first time I learned that, oh, look, I, we can have the same weapon, but they can have different stats. and uh, Not stats, but perks. Okay, let's get out of here before one of those cursed thralls gets me. And there's a vestige being spawned, which is not what I want to see happen, but there's only two of these. The last time I did this, there was one all over the place. I mean, you could not step without running into them. And I hope my fault, my voice isn't getting all screwed up. My nose is itching so bad, so I have to keep covering up my mouth and scratching my nose. I don't know why my nose is so itchy, but stop forming those, would you? 
Oh, special ammo full. Very well then. We'll use it up to our advantage. Okay, was that the last of these? Or is there one more and then the big guy? I got to I got to one I got to an ogre last time. There's the ogre. It's all ogre, man. It's all ogre for you. The might of Crota. Does he spawn ads? Yes, he does. Yes, he most certainly does. I'll save my super for those. Oh, there's one of these things down here. No. Ow. I thought you just had to walk on them. I didn't realize that flying over top of them. I didn't realize they were sentient enough to do that. Okay, let's take out some of these ads first. Before we take on the big guy. I mean, let's face it, he can't be any worse than Fogolf is. Oh, but he is right there, so maybe he is going to be a little bit worse. Although, does he come down here? It does appear that he regenerates HP, though. So maybe we just need to take him down bit by bit. No, the phone's ringing! Ignore the phone! You can't hear it, but it is ringing. Did that just go through his arm? Did that really just happen? Okay. I think we can just sit here and just pick him off bit by bit. I mean, he only appears to be spawning minimal amounts of ads. Although now I'm going to get cornered between them and him at this rate. So, which means I probably should, now that I have the health to do it, get past that and get out of here. In case he does decide to spawn a bunch of things like up here. Oh, I'm stuck! No, I'm stuck again! Let me out! Auto shoddy. It's like I'm playing Counter Strike all over again. Hold on. It's a shame there's not more, like, heavy ammo sitting around somewhere that I could use to my advantage. <laughs> I love it! Oh, hi. How much does this do to you? Oh, I only had one round left! No! It's okay, you're dead anyways. Does that mean all of you guys go too? Uh, yes it does. Okay. I did it! I only died once! That's a huge accomplishment for me. Well done, Guardian. Absolutely Rest huge. The Crota's army is more powerful than I thought. We cannot rest. Now is the time to stop them from waking Crota's soul. That's what we shall do. But what's to keep them from mounting a counter attack? Then just coming back like tomorrow and destroying him then. And I found an Ascendant Shard. I found a thing. So now I only need two more to upgrade my chest piece. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. Did I get anything else out of this that I'm going to want to check out? Doesn't appear that I have anything that I'm going to want to decode. No Ingrams, no nothing like that. I'll switch back to my, to my nice new hand cannon here, which I do love. But another nail in the coffin until I get bad juju is probably going to be my primary weapon for these kind of things. So what did I get for the activity rewards? I get an Ingram that is legendary. Nope, I just got the Ascendant Shard, so we're going to go and end the... No, we needed to go talk to the lady and get the next bounty. I'll just cut to that. Oh, it's Eris. I knew it was something like that. Let's see what you have to say. The Rise of Crota. Go to the Temple on the Moon before Crota is made whole. 
Go to the temple on the moon and destroy Crota's soul. The Wakers of Crota are summoning his soul from a dark realm. Find them, stop them, and do what you must to shatter Crota's soul. Go to the temple on the moon before Crota is made whole. I will. And I should probably start doing these. So, there you have it. I don't think I have any special Ingrams. I just checked. I don't have anything legendary, unfortunately. But I do have... Wow, I got another... I have three of those heavy weapon ones. But I do have another Ascendant Shard. So now I can add that to the other three that I have. I just need two more to upgrade a piece of armor. And we're on our way to doing great and glorious things. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.